Hey guys, welcome back to my Divine Timing Tarot. This is a love reading for Aries for the month of November 2023. If this resonates, uh, please subscribe to my channel and like this video. See what happened in the recent past for Aries in love. Uh, we have the Two of Pentacles. <coughs> so somebody was juggling you around here. I feel like somebody was kind of could have been giving you mixed signals. This person just didn't know what they wanted. Tell me about the two of pentacles in the recent past for Aries. Yeah, eight of swords. They kept you stuck. You never knew where this was going. It's like this person, it was a very back and forth sort of energy. Air energy and earth energy here in the recent past. Give me one more on the recent past for Aries. Death card, Scorpio energy. I feel like you ended things. I feel like you, this person kept you... It was holding you back for too long. Like they kept you stuck for so long. Never making a choice. It was almost like a roller coaster ride that you were on, that you were stuck on. But again, with that death card, so I feel like you ended things here with this person. You put a stop to this or an end to this. See what's currently going on with Aries in love at this time. Ace of Wands. You're ready for a new start, Aries. Could be a new start that's coming in for you. Tell me about the Ace of Wands for Aries. Yeah, Page of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. There's somebody that likes you, Aries. Somebody new. There's a new opportunity coming in here. This person's uh, very invested in you. They're going to offer you something. This person has a crush on you with that page of cups. This person's looking for something solid, something stable. Feel like it's someone attractive as well. You're gonna be feel very attracted to this person. I feel like there's gonna be a spark there if you haven't already met this person. But this is someone new. Could be somebody. Um, around your age, possibly a little bit younger than you, or they're just right about around your age. Tell me more about this Page of Cups for Aries. Nine of Swords. This person could have some like anxiety issues or they they overthink things too much. I feel like they're afraid of a rejection here. I feel like they want to tell you if they haven't already, they want to express um, that they like you. 
but they're very nervous in doing that. I feel like they're very afraid of rejection here. But I feel like when all in all is clear, there's something that they're going to offer you here with that Ace of Pentacles. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, Page of Pentacles. I feel like they're going to come in very, like, slow. They're not going to try and come in, like, um, like too over overboard or overwhelming. Like, they're going to come in as someone that is trying to help you. But at the same time, they do want you to know that they like you. And it's something about, like, wanting to be friends at first, but also letting you know that they are... You know, they're looking for, um, for, for a commitment, for a new opportunity. They, if they have, if there is a chance for an opportunity, they'll take it. And if not, like, they just want to be friends with you. They want to try and, um, they want to be that person that will give you a hand. That'll be there for you. But I feel like you're going to go for this with that Ace of Wands. Tell me about the Ace of Wands for Aries. Yeah, the Nine of Wands. There's something about... Um, wanting this new start with this person uh, but at the same time it's like you're you have boundaries it's kind of like you're letting this person know like look I'll give you a chance but if you cross that line then I'm taking a step back there's something about not allowing this person to um, cross some sort of boundary that you have in place. And I feel like that's why this person is just like, look, you know, if you want to just be friends, I'll be friends with you. But I do like you is what I'm getting off of this person. See, what's going to be the most predictive outcome? for Aries for this month of November 2023. The Fool, Aries energy. So I feel like you're gonna take a leap of faith here. I feel like you're gonna be in a mindset of like, you know, what, what can I really lose? What do I have to lose, rather? Let's, let, let, I should just go for this. I have nothing really to lose. I've already stated, you know, my boundaries, what not, what lines not to cross. What do I have to lose at this point? Clarify the fool for Aries. There's your energy, the emperor. And the hermit. I feel like Aries, you're not going to try to. Um, I feel like you're going to go for this. But at the same time, you're not going to try and involve your emotions. It's like you're going to hold back from your emotions. You're not going to allow your emotions to take over. Yes, you want a new start. Yes, you are attracted to this person. You feel that sort of spark. But you're not allowing your heart to open up just yet. You need to really, with that hermit Virgo energy, you need to really... Reflect on how things are going to go. 
You might actually, with that hermit, um, whether this is going to be you or them, I'm going to clarify to see. Somebody here might pull back. Like somebody's going to jump right in. But I feel like you're not going to show any sort of, it's like you're not investing emotions into this. You're, you're controlling your emotions. You're holding back those emotions. It might cause this person to distance themselves because they, they might not know how you feel about them. I feel like it could be them. Clarify the hermit for Aries. Yeah, the lovers, Gemini energy. Could be you. Could be you. We have the world at the bottom. Either or, I just feel like somebody is going to end up having to distance. They're going to have to make this sort of choice to really distance um, themselves. Because I feel like this, and I feel like Aries... I feel like this is going to be a very good connection. And I feel like that's why you're kind of guarding your heart there. You're controlling your feelings. And you might get scared or somebody here gets scared. It could be you. Somebody here gets scared and they have to make a choice on whether or not they want to keep things going here. Let me clarify the Emperor. Five of Swords. It's going to be you, Aries. You're not going to know. I feel like this is going to be a little bit overwhelming for you. You're going to realize that, you know, you do have feelings for this person. Like the feelings are going to start becoming more and more intense. And I feel like that's going to scare you off with that uh, hermit card. I feel like you might have to, you know, take a break from this person and kind of just really go into that hermit mode, her hermit mode. And really think about things before making uh, a final decision on whether or not you want to um, take things to the next level. You're going to give it a shot. But when things start getting serious and more intense, that's when you're like realizing like I got to get a grip on my feelings. I don't want to invest any sort of feelings just yet until I know for sure that that is clearly what I want. <clears throat> That's what I have, Aries. Hope this reading does resonate, and I'll see you guys again.